Welcome back to a new episode about sessions. A PHP session is used to store data on a server rather than the computer of the user. You might probably wonder what the difference is between a cookie and a session. Although they are both used to store user-related data, the biggest difference is security. Cookies are stored on the computer of the user, which basically means that hackers can easily get to it. But a good thing about cookies is that every time a user requests a URL to the server, all the cookie data for that website will be automatically sent to the server within the request. A session is good to use whenever you have data that is sensitive. So let me add it as a comment. Good to use for sensitive information. So let's say that a user logs in on your website and your website creates a new session. You don't want to save the password of a user, but you would like to save the user ID or the user name, since you can grant the user access to certain pages based on the user ID. It's also good to remember that a session exists as long as the same browser is open. So if you close the browser and you want to reopen the same website, your session will be destroyed. And if you log in again, a new session will be created. So let me add that as well. So a session exists as long as the same browser is open. Let's create our first session. And the way you create your first session is by using a function inside PHP, which is called session underscore start. So let me write that down, followed by parentheses, and you do not need to pass in any arguments or parameters. Right now, we created our session, but we haven't saved any information. And later on, when we will be creating a login system, you will see that we will assign the session variables to the input fields of the user that logged in. But for now, let's create them. Let's go one line below, or two, and let me add a comment. We want to store information right now. And the way you do that is with a dollar sign underscore session, followed by a set of brackets, just like every other super global. And inside our brackets, we want to pass in the name of the value. And I want to save my name and age. So let's say that my name is equal to Dari. So you create your session and you want to set it equal to a value. Let's create my second, which is age, and set it equal to an integer 24. A session superglobe was also an array, so what we're basically doing is creating an array with name and age that has the value of Dari and 24. So you've probably ever logged in on a website and you've seen the login button change to something like hello with your name. So in my case, hello Dari. And this is done with sessions. So whenever you log in, the system will create a name session and it will change the content of the button to your name. So let's do pretty much the same, and let's access our session. Let's echo out hello, concatenate it from the session variable, and we want to write down name. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and you can see that hello diary is printed out. You always need to access your key of the associative array and not the value. You should know that by now, since we had a couple array exercises and array examples. Right now, we created our session, but we haven't closed it. And the way you destroy a session is with a new function called session underscore destroy. Let's save it, refresh the browser, and nothing's happening. And if we copy paste our echo, save it, refresh it, you can see that it's still printed out. And the reason why that is happening is because whenever we close off our browser, the session will be destroyed and not whenever we write down session underscore destroy. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.